Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your October monthly tarot reading. Going to take a look at the energies. We have the eclipse season coming in, uh, new moon, Libra, solar eclipse, and the full moon in Taurus at the end of the month, uh, lunar eclipse. A very powerful month. Um, so let's take a look. We're going to look at love in general for you, and then I will do the current person on your mind and see what the outcome will be in October. And then any new potential love interest you have, we'll look at that as well in Aries through Pisces. Same setup as the weeklies, just for the whole month. So hit that like and subscribe, and let's go. Gemini, let's see how awesome Gemini's month's going to be. Been picking up on some great energies. Uh, for this month, a win-win outcome is in store for you. Full moon Libra energy. So we do have the Libra, the full moon around the full moon in Libra. So we're going to look at the full moon as being the full moon that is in Libra season, which means by the end of the month, by the full moon energy, whatever it is that you've been struggling with, whatever it is you've been going through. But see, I look at everything as now moment too, because we are in still the energy one, one, one of the full moon Aries when I'm recording this. So there is a win-win coming in from now to then you will see whatever it is you're trying to bring into balance into your life come to fruition all right a time for healing so it seems like there could be energy of reconciling reconciling relationships reconciling relationships within yourself forgiveness healing yourself giving yourself time to recoup and nothing is yet set in stone all right so that there for me is you got meditate and contemplate so relax recoup Go within, take a breather, and just know that things are changing right now for you. So you have a lot going on in your life, and things are shifting. It's like the the Pandora's or the whatever. When everything starts, the Rubik's cube, things start to move around, and the universe is trying to put everything in play for you. All right. So nothing is set in stone just yet. If you're worried about something, do not. Do not let that fear consume you so that you manifest that. Know that I'm picking up on feelings the way you could potentially feel about things. It does not mean that this is what's going on in your reality. Okay. So let's take a look at you. Let's take a look at you and then what's coming towards you. All right. You got six of cups and you got the child card. So you see a lot of love, innocence, and, and mutual love around you, and also reconciliation. Could be with children, Gemini. So there could be a lot of reconciliation um, between you if you're struggling with your kids or your family. Uh, we're seeing that um, there's a win-win outcome here. Maybe something with your kids. Maybe your kids are going through something. Um There's that six of cups again. So we see a lot of love. We see friendships. We see friendships growing. This is a new beginning, growth. Um, it's taken levels of relationships to a deeper level, bringing more love into the situation. And it's just very forgiving, very nurturing, very loving energy for your overall energy. So healing energy, uh, new friendships, new connections, reconciliations, and things like that. Um, just being able to heal relationships in general. So a very good month for you to just find peace and harmony within yourself and with others. All right. We got the nine of swords. So you are stressed and you have a lot of anxiety, maybe overanalyzing situations, maybe around the full moon energies, you're just feeling overwhelmed, your head spinning and you just, you know, maybe you're dealing with regret. Maybe you're blaming yourself about something you said. Maybe you're just you didn't do anything wrong and that you're just your inner critics on fire right now. All right. So it's about taming the beast within. Don't talk to yourself. All right. Alan Watts, don't talk to yourself. You're your worst friend, right? And if you have an energy of the nine of swords, you are keeping yourself up at night, telling yourself things that are not true and you're beating yourself up, all right? So that six of cups energy, you got to love yourself like you would love your child. Well, hopefully. All right, we've got the queen of water here, healing, all right? Nurturing your creative side, all right? Compassion, 
love. All right, there could be some a female, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that is very loving, nurturing, uh, very caring um, around you, a good friend coming in, a good your mother, uh, it could be a partner, um, but you see a deepening of a connection. And also, this is also saying show compassion for yourself. Be compassionate to your mind. All right, you need to love yourself. Right. That's a really a lot about healing the inner inner child, especially with that um, child card that came up. So the eclipse energies could bring up a lot about needing to heal your inner child. All right. We got youth energy confidence here. So there could be some youth you're dealing with children, um, healing with children. Uh, there could be somebody from your youth coming back into your life. We do have the six of cups, though. So could be an old friend that you haven't talked to in a while. Uh, there could be somebody um, that is younger than you coming into your life, uh, you know, or somebody There could be a new your kids bringing somebody into their life. But this also talks about uh, a new adventure. To me, it talks about um, stepping out and giving yourself, um, you know, let, like a fool type of energy in a way. But it's like go on this new adventure that's coming your way. Maybe go out and, and, and try something new in October. All right. Be in confident. Like when we were younger, we weren't as afraid to take chances as maybe we are now after we've been burned a couple times. All right. I have a king of earth around you too. So you've got somebody here, a father, and you've got a, um, a motherly energy too. But you also got two people showing up that are very prominent for you in October. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, very good, good loving people with this Six of Cups. A lot of love there. Um, there could be healing. There could be deepening of connections and a lot of growth here in the relationship. Um, the king of earth could be your father, could be a boss, could be a father figure it also could be you having confidence to step up in the business world becoming really responsible taking on a lot more so you may find yourself taking on a lot of things and being really adventurous and confident and just giving it your all um, making plans for the future you might be the king of earth says i'm going to map out a business plan all right i want to so you might have an energy of just really focusing on your material world your business your money your family your your expenses and just really becoming responsible and stable, all right? And you could also be reconciling with somebody with these qualities, all right? And we have abundance coming your way, all right? So a win-win outcome. So whatever, if it's you're working with, the first part feels like compassion for yourself, giving yourself a break, Gemini, all right? You're overanalyzing, you're being too hard on yourself, all right? And the second part shows a new adventure here or to really jump into your material world, focus on grounding yourself, your business, focus on taking things to the next level. Maybe there's a new job coming in. Maybe you're stepping up in your job and we see you have wealth coming in for you. You have abundance coming in. So whatever you've been working on, you're going to get something in return, all right? Especially with the justice card showing up in the, for Libra season. All right, so maybe by the end of October, something you've been working really hard on is going to bring you in um, the, your uh, return of investment. All right, so let's see what else. I've been doing a couple of readings in my voice. I, I start to lose my voice and it sounds raspy. Plus, I'm talking super fast because of the full moon energy and, and coughing. What else is coming in for my Geminis? I see a card that's turned over for some reason. Keep eye in it. There it is. I'm going to take a look at this. Stepping up and standing your ground, speaking up and being proud, being determined and being focused. All right. And that's also the seven of wands energy. You got to defend yourself against your own self, your own mind. You might be speaking up. You might be being heard. It's about grounding yourself and knowing your power and, um, and demanding authority. You got a lot of choices coming in for you. Choose wisely. Sun card. A lot of luck on your side. So you've got a big wind coming in, all right? Happiness. So the light, you're going to be shining in the light, all right? So you may get noticed. Step up. 
Step up to the plate, especially at work, uh, the King of Pentacles. Step up in the material world. Step up and take on these new responsibilities. Take on this new endeavor, going on this new adventure, whatever it is you're doing, because you're getting the spotlight. The spotlight's being shown on you right now. I see a lot of patience and planning. So you will be... Um, you will be planning something new here with that king of earth here. So you might be making a lot of plans for your future and actually getting your goals down on paper and doing a lot of work, putting a lot of work in during October. I do see the seven of swords. You got three sevens here. All right. So what I'm going to go with is that the seven of swords could be you um, letting other people get to you or you're not trusting other people or you might let envy or deception skew your vision and the nine of swords right it could be um projection and it also could be that um, people are jealous of you because you're getting the light shine on you all right so just keep that in mind i'm feeling like you've got the light shining on you and you've got people or a person around you that might be envious or jealous of you all right Rejoice in celebration. I see a win-win outcome right there. I see getting together. This is probably only temporary. Don't let anybody hold you back. The seven of wands might be you defending yourself. Excuse me. Um, I don't need that attitude. See you later. Because I'm on a mission. So if you're envious, step up. All right. But get out of my way is the seven of wands. All right. And I see rejoice in celebration. 11-11 when I said that. 11, 11, go back and look. All right, so three of cups, happiness, hanging out with good people, having a good time. Don't let anybody ruin your, your good time in October. Nobody's going to get in your way, Gemini. All right, disappointment in some affair, right? You may be disappointed with somebody, that seven of swords. Uh, deep personal strength and peace that assure success. All right. You may be cutting somebody out with a scissors card, all right? There may be somebody that is envious of you or is jealous of you. I see September here, um, and we just left September, so something started in September that is going to come in, and if the win-win, it could be something that started in September, and also um, the scissors could be something that you're cutting out of your life from September, all right? We have, and it also could be a Virgo um, and a Libra energy, too, that you're connecting to. Uh, and you could have that in your chart. I see a lot of good luck around you. The horseshoe, 1212 when I said that. And I see July energy. So I see a cancer, cancer energy. All right. So from now to July and complete happiness here. So it seems like from now to July could be a really big turning point for you in your life. And that's just, I don't usually do that, but that came through. But there could be a cancer around you too. Um, all right. Let's see the current person on your mind and what's going on. What's the outcome in October at the full card. You got the seven of wands. There's that same energy. You might be either jumping into a new relationship. You might be taking a leap of faith. You might be moving on, but let's see the current person on your mind. The second part will be new person that, or new potential. So this person here, you may have already invested some time in. Ooh. I got the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so I do see a fresh start. This is somebody who wants to make an offer with you. Uh, Scorpio energy could be a second chance, um, or they they really whatever decision you guys make now could really really turn into long term, um, make a lot of change the future you got a six of cups here again too so it's definitely somebody you may share mutual feelings with they want to make an offer to you so but we got the five of swords and the five of cups so this person is feeling kind of confused conflicted and in the blues all right feeling kind of depressed there's the five of swords too um, they might be confused about something well, there's a no-win situation at the Five of Swords when two people can't, they just blame each other, argue with each other, or can't seem to see eye to eye or are not communicating properly. And so, again, we see the win-win. So maybe you guys will finally um, listen to each other, finally hear each other out. 
All right, you got the high priestess here. You gotta, you gotta really, really go within and, and get the answers and trust yourself, right? But this person here might be holding back. The challenge is the three of wands, all right? So this person here um, maybe is unsure or un, uh, of themselves, or there's been um, there's distance between you guys. This person might not know which direction they're going in. Um, this person uh, may feel like um, you've closed the door on them um, and that you guys aren't taking the next level, the next step, all right? They're just unsure or they're just afraid to get out of their comfort zone. And it could be a long distance relationship. Maybe they need to relocate um, and, and that's the Ace of Pentacles too. So we'll see. I'll see what else comes through for that. Um, communication definitely could be an obstacle here as well. I see a queen of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, that's the second time the queen of cups is showing up and I'm seeing the two of swords. So a difficult choice needs to be made. This person needs to decide what they want. They need to decide, um, if they want to be in a commitment, they need to decide if they're going to fully commit. They may need to relocate and decide whether or not they're going to move in or move towards you. Um, but it does seem like you're ready for the next step or this person's ready, for, uh, needs to decide what is the next step on their mind for cups this person might get bored easy or might feel stuck or might be kind of um they're stuck in their ways things have to be their way or they think and then look at this the hermit card this is somebody who is stays within is it they they are somebody who's kind of feels lonely or is a loner. All right, so this is a Virgo energy, and we got the Four of Cups. This person may feel stuck. They may feel, feel bored. They may, have, they may feel lonely. They may feel disconnected or withdrawn. They may be uncertain about the next step here. You got the Three of Wands. They want to move forward. They want, but then yet they've got the Hermit card where they just feel so distant. All right, so this could be, I'm getting distance, long distance. Like, is there going to be an opportunity? But the Ace of Pentacles says this person really does want to take the next step. All right, they want a fresh start. They want to move forward. But the Two of Swords is there. So let's look at you. Five of Pentacles, you may be struggling too. You may be feeling like this person's rejecting you um, or there's been some, you're going through some hard times yourself, Gemini. Um, there could be uh, financial struggles for you. Let's see how they view you. The two of cups. This person's in love with you. You guys are either projecting, um, maybe there's finances. You know, this person needs a new job or this person's not sure. Money's getting in the way um, or distance is getting in the way. But this person definitely feels stuck and unsure of what to do. All right. They're in limbo, the, the Pisces hanged man. This person's trying to see a different way, see a different light see a different way to, to break through this. All right. The outcome is the wheel destiny. All right. They will, they will take a risk. They will, there'll be a way where there's a will, there's a way the wheel card will make something happen because this person, it seems as though you guys, you got the eighth of pentacles and the wheel card, which is like winning the lottery. It's like luck. All right. So luck is on their side. Some sort of luck is going to come in with this person or some sort of decision. There will be a turning point in October where this person takes a chance or takes a risk. And it could be about money. It could be about they finally have the money or they get the money or they're finally going to take a chance and jump in. So the three of wands being a being a. Um, a challenge could mean this person's afraid to move, afraid to move forward. And it looks as though this person may make the choice to move forward here. All right, and I got the Knight of Wands here. So they need to make a decision of whether or not to get out of their comfort zone, the hermit energy, and whether to get out there and go have some fun. So you may find yourself hanging out. And like I said, the Three of Cups is like a party. It's like getting together, celebrating with this person, reconciling with this person. It could be an Aries Leo Sag. But this show is fun too and excitement and passion and a good time. So you may be sharing some good times with this person in October. We have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, we have Pisces, Scorpio, and Virgo energy here. But it can be any sign, guys. All right, so let's see new person potential. So that's obviously somebody that you've had some time with or you've had on your mind for a while or you've been or are in a relationship with. Let's see new person potential. This is more for those of you that are currently talking to somebody new and or there's a new person coming your way. 
Well, you got a lover coming in, Gemini. They're coming straight for you. You've got Aquarius Libra Gemini totally focused on you. Very strong Gemini. Uh, I mean, Aquarius Libra Gemini focused on you, Gemini. They could be another Gemini. All right. So you do. You might be meeting somebody at a party. You might be connecting with somebody. Um, sun card. Hell yes. I love when the cards do this. Hell yes, sun card. All right. So they could be sex, happiness, some of you hooking up with somebody. See this person, the sun card again, could be a Leo. There's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, so it could be a water sign or a Leo. Some of you could have several people, um, several options. There's that Knight of Swords again. Could come out of nowhere. This person's totally focused on you. The Sun card, hell yes. So you keep getting the same thing. Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have a new romantic partner coming your way. You have a date on the horizon. Uh, romance is in the air. You have two knights showing up. So it could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be Leo. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you definitely see some romance in somebody who's focused on you, Gemini. All right, so the high priestess, you are attractive. People are finding you attractive, and you are manifesting um, new potential in. All right, so that was, and you got a queen of wands. Like, you look hot. You are a magnet. So for some of you, Gemini, October could be a really strong time for some dating, some having a good time, and meeting some new people. Um, but you have, you're attracting uh, sexual energy in. All right. So you must be looking real good, doing something real good, looking physically attractive. But people are focused on you. Twenty one eleven. All right. Let's do Aries through Pisces. This is for those of you with somebody on your mind that you may have had you know, a lot of dealings with and you're curious about how they really feel or what they're thinking. Um, let's see. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries, through Pisces. Aries, I'm sorry. Sorry I messed up. I couldn't do right by you. Do you accept their apology? Taurus, is it possible to forgive and forget? Gemini, my heart is telling me just do it. Go for it, Gemini. All right, Cancer, you've been in their dreams. All right, Leo, you inspire me. That's the Ace of Wands energy. Virgo, being apart has been life-changing for me. Libra, I'm more affected than you know. Scorpio, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Sagittarius, something's missing for them from them, their life. They're trying to figure out their own shit. Capricorn feels da damaged like they just can't do this. Aquarius, I feel safer in the silence right now. And Pisces, I don't know if I can meet your expectations, Gemini. All right, I love you guys. We have an awesome month coming in, and I'll keep up with weeklies so you guys can keep checking in with your weeklies, and I'll see you soon. Take care.